Welcome to Dental Notes and Mnemonics. In this uh, video, we will be exploring the two important conditions, uh, oral hairy leukoplakia and leukoplakia, uh, which is a source of confusion as they sound similar in names. While both affect the oral mucosa and appear as a white patches in the mouth, still they have distinct causes, clinical features and implication. So in this video, we will be discussing what sets these two conditions apart and why it's crucial to distinguish between uh, both of them for the accurate diagnosis and the treatment so without any delay let's get started with the video starting with the definition first the leukoplakia is a white patch or a plaque that develops inside a mouth uh, usually on tongue cheeks or mouth these patches cannot be wiped away and they don't have a clear cause like an infection or the injury uh, now let's talk about oral hairy leukoplakia unlike leukoplakia uh, OHL is directly related with HIV or immunocompromised and it shows up at white, hairy looking patches on the side of the tongue. Now we will talk about the causes and the risk factors of both the lesions. The exact cause of leukoplakia is unknown but it is commonly linked to tobacco, alcohol use or chronic irritation. Uh, while uh, uh, oral hairy leukoplakia is caused by Epstein-Barr virus and it is closely tied to the people who have weakened immune systems, especially those with HIV. Regarding the risk factors for leukoplakia, the biggest risk factor is tobacco, both smoking and chewing, alcohol and chronic irritation from rough teeth and dentures. Uh, for OHL, the main risk factor is weakened immune system. Uh, this is why it is most often seen in case of the patient who are HIV positive or AIDS patients. One point I forgot to mention that uh, other contributing uh, factor to leukoplakia is areca nut chewing also, uh, which is common in certain regions, particularly in India. The combination of areca nut and tobacco increases the risk of developing leukoplakia significantly. Both leukoplakia and OHL present as a white patches but their clinical appearance differ significantly. A leukoplakia typically appears as flat white plaque that can develop on gums, inner cheeks, tongue or the floor of the mouth and these patches are usually firm and thickened and cannot be scraped off as we have discussed earlier. Uh, while leukoplakia itself does not usually cause the pain, the patient may experience severe sensitivity or discomfort especially when the lesion is exposed to spicy or hot food. Uh, the texture is generally smooth, uh, although in some cases like varicose uh, leukoplakia, it can be more irregular or the nodular. And in case of uh, oral hairy leukoplakia, as its name suggests, it has distinct hairy or shaggy appearance. The white patches are most commonly found in the lateral border of the tongue and often have raised corrugated texture. Uh, these lesions are usually uh, painless and many patients with OHL may not even be aware uh, when they have them unless pointed out by uh, a dentist or any other healthcare provider. Uh, the uh, hairy aspect is due to hyperplasia of the epithelial cell which gives the appearance of hair like projections over the surface of oral hairy leukoplakia. Uh, if we talk about the precancerous potential of both the lesions, then leukoplakia is considered as a precancerous lesion, meaning it can develop into oral cancer, especially if it is left untreated. Uh, so the regular checkups and possibly a biopsy are important. Uh, in case of oral uh, hairy leukoplakia, unlike leukoplakia, it does not have the potential to become cancerous. However, it can indicate underlying immune system issues that need to be addressed. Both the conditions can be diagnosed uh, through the visual examination. In case of leukoplakia, visual assessment to the lesion is to assess the appearance and location. And biopsy uh, is essential for the definitive diagnosis, particularly to rule out the dysplasia or the malignancy. Histological examination may reveal keratinization and varying degree of dysplasia. And uh, in case of leukoplakia, the viral testing uh, may be performed from HPV if uh, there is a suspicion of viral etiology. In case of oral hairy leukoplakia, biopsy may be performed to confirm the diagnosis, revealing ballooning uh, epithelial cells, which is a hallmark for this uh, uh, lesion and the presence of keratinocytes. Uh, the viral testing is done to detect the Epstein-Barr uh, viruses through serological test or PCR if necessary. 
let's take a closer look at the microscopic features of leukoplakia and uh, oral uh, hairy leukoplakia starting with leukoplakia under the microscope uh, we often see hyperkeratosis or thickening of epithelium due to excess keratin in some cases uh, uh, dysplasia may be present which indicates a risk of uh, malignancy acanthosis or thickening of uh, prickle cell layer in epithelium is also common along with the inflammation beneath the epithelial layer now for the oral uh, hairy leukoplakia microscopic features show ballooning degeneration of keratinocyte giving the surface its uh, characteristic hairy appearance uh, hyperkeratosis uh, and the surface corrugations are common but unlike leukoplakia there is no dysplasia uh, in case of uh, uh, oral uh, hairy leukoplakia the hyperkeratosis is hyperparakeratosis uh, then but unlike leukoplakia there is no dysplasia instead we often find uh, the, the epstein barr uh, virus uh, which is present in the cell and these cells are termed as coleocyte uh, which is having a perinuclear halo understanding these feature is essential for differentiating be between these two conditions in case of uh, oral hairy leukoplakia usually it shows a mild or absent inflammation whereas in leukoplakia it may present as a chronic inflammation this is an important point to note and apart from this uh, uh, the uh, OHL often features a lymphocytic infiltration while sub epithelial changes in the leukoplakia are minimal unless the dysplasia is present or in case of oral hairy leukoplakia the basement membrane is usually intact and whereas in leukoplakia it may show the back breakdown uh, in case uh, when there is high grade of dysplasia uh, ballooning cells or ballooning degeneration it is uh, a hallmark in uh, uh, oral hairy leukoplakia uh, the cell here it gets bigger and filled with the fluid the swollen cells have a clear and transparent look uh, there is normal arrangement of the cell uh, gets disrupted uh, due to the swelling and the nuclei of the cells may also appear larger or different uh, coleocytes are also found in uh, oral hairy leukoplakia. Uh, you, uh, these cells are abnormal squamous epithelial cells which are often associated with the viral infection, uh, especially those which are associated with the human papilloma viruses. Uh, the cell has a distinctive appearance, uh, typically characterized by the perinuclear halo, uh, which is a clear area around the nucleus and uh, have uh, nuclei uh, which is irregularly shaped. In the cytoplasm, uh, there is uh, density is increased and uh, it may be keratinized. Uh, while coleocytes are not the primary features of OHL, their identification may occur in the overlapping cases or co-infections. The treatment approaches for leukoplakia and uh, oral hairy leukoplakia are quite different. Uh, leukoplakia the goal in treating uh, leukoplakia is to prevent the progression to cancer and treatment includes eliminating the cause asking the patient to stop tobacco use or removing the sources of chronic irritation like uh, sharp teeth or ill-fitting dentures in cases where the lesion is large or shows a uh, sign of dysplasia surgical removal might be recommended and patient with the leukoplakia should have a regular follow-ups to monitor the lesions of any changes. On the other hand, uh, oral hairy leukoplakia does not require treatment in most cases unless it causes discomfort or aesthetic concern to the patient. The management usually involves antiviral therapy. Medications like acyclovir can be used to reduce the size of the lesion by suppressing Epstein-Barr virus. Uh, treating the underlying condition is most importantly managing the HIV and AIDS or improving immune function is key to control this lesion. And uh, like leukoplakia, OHL should be monitored though it is not a precancerous lesion. So this was all about uh, the difference in uh, these two lesions and uh, here I am providing you a mnemonic less different uh, for as a gist or the summary of whatever we have uh, discussed till now and please grow through these slides and you may uh, stop the video here and take a snapshot thank you for watching this video i hope you found the information helpful if you have any questions or would like to know more uh, feel free to drop uh, your comment below 
Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more updates uh, on the oral health topics like this only. And your support helps to create a valuable content. Uh, see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.